how are you? Happy Saturday. I am driving, as you can tell. I am actually on a road pretty much where I'm the only person on this road. It's gonna be a very quick little chat, but I am, I'm taking the back road. This is an area that Terry and I used to drive in all the time when we would be driving to work because we carpooled a lot. And it's just neat sometimes when you drive in an area that you don't drive in very often or it's been a while because you see how much has changed. Like I saw a McDonald's that wasn't there. This is close to where I used to live. I don't really come this way ever anymore. And it's just kind of, I don't know, I'm just like, like looking around and just thinking about all the fun times that we've had making this trip to work and whatnot. But yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to pick up the camera and just like, like start a vlog and I don't know where this vlog is going to go. It could end up a full on vlog or it could end up never seeing the light of day. I don't know. But if you see it, it made it. I just stopped by Black Rock and picked myself up an iced coffee. This is a good coffee. I don't know how to explain it. And I hadn't had one in quite a while actually. And I had forgotten how good it was because it, like this drink was nine bucks. Like one of those things where you're kind of like, you can't be having this every day. Me being in my budget era, I really can't have it every day. But I treated myself to one today, even though in my back of my head, I'm going, why am I spending $9 on coffee? Like I have coffee at home. But you know, every now and then you gotta treat yourself. You gotta give yourself the love that you deserve because if you don't give yourself the love that you deserve, nobody else is gonna be able to love you because you're gonna have this like standoffish aura about you. But that leads me to saying there's something I wanna chat with you all about. I don't know if it'll be in this vlog, maybe, I don't know. But I just wanna talk about us, meaning you and me, regular folk, like what we're gonna what we're gonna expect out of 2024. I don't, I don't know how old everyone is that watch my channel, but I feel like we're all somewhere around the same age. And I just want to talk about what does that mean for us? What do people our age, people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, whatever, let's go skip out on the 20 somethings. You know where they're going for 2024. But what does 2024 mean to us? Like what should it mean to us? And I just want to like have a moment where we can just like open up and talk about it. And I want to share my views on it. And then maybe you all can comment in the comment section and we can just kind of get a conversation going about that. I just thought I'd bring that up because that's something that's on my mind. And um, I want to I wanna bring it into fruition. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy my coffee, drive, I'm going to listen to a podcast while I make my way to Terry's house. Like I said, I'm going the back way. I'm running into a little bit more traffic. It has been nice taking this little back way because I have literally omitted like some crazy traffic around that forum area. If you live in San Antonio, you know. Hi friends, you know. how are you? Today is Wednesday. It's hump day. It's hump day in the house. It's hump day in the house. It's hump day in the house. What's up, y'all? <laughs> I haven't done that one in a minute. So I'm actually sitting in Trader Joe's parking lot. It's cold outside. We have had Monday. It was in the teens all day. Never got out of the, well, yeah, or never made it below, above freezing. Monday. Tuesday, stay below freezing all day. I think may have gotten out of it a little bit. And today, it did make it up to 44. But when I tell y'all it's cold outside, it is cold outside, okay? We're not prepared for all that. But it's been fun. You know, I've been living the life, enjoying the cold weather, enjoying having the opportunity to wear some of my coats and whatnot. But, you know, it just don't last long enough because it's already going to be 67 tomorrow. Tell me why we can go from the teens to be in 67 just like that like why like how i don't know but anyway i wanted to come on camera real quick and just share with you all i cut my finger <laughs> that's not what i was going to share with you all but i cut my finger i made the best vegetarian chili on monday it was martin luther king day molly and i were just home i i think i may have got some of the footage but i don't know if i shared the chili but anyway it was so so good 
Oh, it was as if it had meat in it and it didn't. I mean, so good. But on that note, yeah. So anyway, I cut my finger when I was in the midst of making the chili. I wanted to share with you all some of the things that I eat for the 21 days of prayer and fasting. If you're doing this or if you just want to try these things, they're from Trader Joe's. You know, Trader Joe's always have the good stuff, so to speak. This is just a regular old salad. So this is nothing exciting. I got a couple of tomatoes to go with my salad. My famous, this is the cowboy caviar. That's one of my things that I love. I mentioned that I allow myself to have tortilla chips and I thought they're going to be like, that's like a snack. I'm eating it when I'm eating chips and salsa type of thing. And I don't consider that eating junk food. I consider that like a dinner based food because that's kind of how I eat it. So I tried these on New Year's Eve. I did like a little charcuterie board and I made these. These are so good. They are the vegetable bird's nest. These are so good. It's all vegetables and it's in a tempura base. I did get the sauerkraut. I've been wanting to try the sauerkraut. I know it's supposed to have good properties for your stomach. I, I love sauerkraut. This is a sauerkraut that had pickled cucumbers in it. So I like both. So I'm kind of like thinking I'm going to like this. So I'm going to try it. If I don't like it, you know, I'll bring it back to Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's take everything back. Okay. I love Brazil nuts. And because I'm not having like candy or anything, I wanted something that's healthy that I can snack on. These were $8 a lot of money for some nuts but i really really wanted some i think i'm gonna mess message my brother because at home they're so much cheaper and see if he can't send me some <laughs> maybe i could take these back if he sent me some i haven't bought this in a long time i feel like this has gotten a little bit too expensive but i wanted it anyway and this is the tempura cauliflower this is so good but this was six dollars because it's gone up i have not wanted to to buy it but I figured I needed a few things to have since I'm not having my meat. So yes, anyway, that's what I got. I just wanted to share that with you all, my little Trader Joe's haul via car. I think I'm actually gonna run over to TJ Maxx right now. I haven't been out of the house since Saturday. I was home all day Sunday, all day Monday, and I was off all day yesterday because I stayed home from work yesterday. I kind of feel like I'm out. I wanna go in a few places. I wanna like just, kind of enjoy being out for a little bit but I do need to get home before seven because I need to be able to eat before seven so that's gonna be a little bit tricky although I'm not real hungry but we'll see anyway let's run over to TJ Maxx real quick okay here we are yet again I am sitting outside of TJ Maxx oh look at my head y'all y'all this girl be looking toe up sometimes I don't like this look like I like the Don King white haired look i'm just loving the messy look right now so y'all forgive me but i will say i did get a compliment inside of trader joe's today this lady she had the same kind of hair or the same color hair as me but we had two totally different hair textures hers was much more coarse and thick whereas mine is much more i don't know what it is she was just like i love your hair and at the same time we're like literally we're looking at each other's hair and i liked hers because of the texture of hers her hair was much more coarser than mine and that's what i was admiring about it but that leads me to, to share with you all i bought these two products from TJ Maxx have no idea what they are and I don't know if I've shared this with y'all before for all my natural going white letting your hair do its thing people out there especially for someone that it's like me I have like the snow white hair you have to be real careful what you put in it any kind of like creams or anything that has color to it that color shows up in your hair and i've learned that the hard way because like sometimes i'll be like looking at my hair going why is my hair yellow oh because i used a yellow cream in my hair that's why if i use anything with color i know that i can only use it like maybe once or twice and then i need to wash my hair so i've been trying to be cognizant of that but what I'm doing is when I look at different products to try, I'm trying to find clear products if it's gelish or white products if it's cream. Now, this one is white. I cheated in the store. I'm not going to lie. I kind of lifted it up a little bit so I could see what it looked like. And because it's white, I feel confident, I think, that it'll be okay to use. I don't know if you pronounce this Kyo, K-I-Y-O, Hair Care Curl Refreshing Spray. And so I thought, ooh, that might be something good. It's refreshed, define, biotin, and castor oil. And then this one is a curl defining cream, condition defined, biotin, coconut oil, and keratin. And all of these are good products that within 
the product. <laughs> so we're gonna see. So I got both of these today and I used the little gift card that I had. So now we're gonna go home. And I don't I don't feel hungry, but I feel like I need to eat something because it's gonna be seven and then I can't eat after seven. So I've been doing really good with not eating after seven. I'm very proud of myself. Very, very proud of myself. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog. I know it's probably short because I don't know that I got a lot of footage mixed in here with it but you know i just wanted to do something to let y'all know i'm still on the map i will say though i am going to be doing a live and we talk about the bachelor i wanted to do it this saturday but i can't because i will be having our awesome threesome gathering on saturday so i know i won't get home until super late and i think next saturday is when james comes in i think so if that's the case I won't be able to do it then. We're running into some problems here, <laughs> but I'm gonna try to do the live. Maybe I can do it on Sunday. Comment below and let me know if a live on Sunday would work for y'all. And if so, give me some time frames that work for everybody. I know we all live in so different, in many different places and everybody got jobs and things like that. That's why I was kind of wanting to do it on a Saturday, but Sunday evening maybe. So anyway, comment below and let me know. But in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog. I love you so, so much. I want you to give this video a huge thumbs up. And if you are a first time watcher, I would like to extend the invitation out to you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's absolutely free it costs you nothing but it helps me out so much and if you are a returning subscriber you already know the love i feel for you bye